I'm Chuck, and I'm one of the chief robot inspectors for the first robotics competition. In this video, we're going to cover adjusting the pressure relief valve. You may have a couple of different types of pressure relief valves. One might look like this, a little taller section. One looks like this, a little narrower section with a small hole in the top. There's a third type that is commonly used in FRC that comes pre-calibrated. We're not going to discuss that one here. We'll talk about the ones that you will need to calibrate if you're using one of these types. On, on both of these types, there's a jam nut located under this top hex session, section. You'll need to loosen that, which will allow you to rotate this. Inside of these mechanisms, or inside of these relief valves, is a mechanism that will compress or decompress, allowing different pressure releases. Your objective is to calibrate that to about 125 PSI. So to do that, you want to take a couple of wrenches and loosen that so that you can adjust the top. What your, your objective is, is to short out your, your pressure switch. You can do that with a screwdriver, a test lead, some, something that makes um, connectivity across these two posts. And that will turn your compressor on and make it run nonstop. You'll then want to watch your pressure gauge on your high pressure side. And you'll turn the top section until you feel air venting anywhere above 125 PSI. Then disconnect the lead and feel that pressure and adjust it until the air stops venting out at 125. Once you have it calibrated, then take your two wrenches and tighten up the jam nut underneath the top section, which will secure the top and keep it from vibrating loose. And that's how you adjust the pressure relief valve. Be sure to check out the inspection video series to learn how to inspect your robot. 